survived. And we will take and go here, here. I'll be right with you folks give me just a second i appreciate you guys stopping in i gotta post my links for this because i want this stream to kind of get out there so uh give me just a moment gotta post all the links Post them to four different Facebook groups, one Twitter, like just everywhere. Everywhere! Right and done. Beautiful. All right, what we got? We got f uh, Fantic. It looks like Fantich. Fantic. Appreciate you. Uh, Sid, Bob, Jason, AT90, Wolfie, Sailor, Nathan, Taylor, Blaze, Curtis, Christopher, Mopar, Layton, um, Connor, Jack. Infinite, Allegiance, Adam, Padrone, uh, Dakota, Strain Toast, Rubber Baby Buggy Bumper, um, Robert, how's it going? Ar Arduous, how's it going as well? Arlisha, Kevin, Gearing. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So, uh, yeah, we finally unlocked the Montana, guys. It takes me about a month and a half. I do spend the gold on the uh, the legendary ships to try to unlock them as fast as possible. Uh, I used to even go through and do the challenges every day. I don't do that anymore. I just spend the gold and let it, let it go. Uh, what makes it easier to unlock them is when you have all the commanders high level enough that you don't have to, you know, that they all, you can always have commanders that are keeping everything going as well as the ships that uh, are required to speed them up. So that always comes in handy. Um, but yeah, just finished it, just unlocked it, haven't even played the very first game in it yet. Uh, the build we're going to be using is basically the exact same build that I use for my Iowa because they are very, very similar. So let's take a look at it. Commanders first, we're running William Sims. Big surprise, right? Uh, we also use Azure Lane Sharnhorst, which is for the shell's dispersion, which means the overall circle that surrounds the ship that you're trying to shoot at it makes that, sh that circle smaller. Uh, you could use Andrew Cunningham, which changes the uh, grouping of the shells, which is actually not the overall circle that the shells can land in, but makes the shells, each individual shell, tend to stick closer to one another rather than spreading out. Uh, personally, I prefer the smaller group, or yeah, the smaller shell dispersion versus the grouping, in my opinion. Um, if, but if you don't have Sharn Horse, you don't have it. Uh, but I also run Palo de Rebel for a slightly faster reload time because there's just something about catching people off guard. A lot of people think that, you know, they know the reload times of your battleships, right? So a lot of battleship players especially, uh, we get timing other people's shots. And so if you can get your, your time just a little bit faster, you can catch people off guard, which comes in real handy. But uh, Flambo Cannoneer, a lot of people I've heard lately say that this is not something you should be running in the new meta of the game. And while I do agree somewhat, I disagree because honestly having the extra range is kind of uh, important, uh, especially on the, these sorts of ships. So being able to reach out and touch people really comes in handy. Uh, also the shell grouping is huge. Uh, but we also have gyrating drill bits, we have the marksmanship, and we have reaching out XXL. I used to run emergency specialist, but 
after lots and lots of uh, deciding, reaching out XXL is 100% the better choice. Using this gets you, gets you hurt so much because how many times you use your damage con and immediately take a fire or a flood right after your damage con goes into cooldown? This is the reason why. Because it reduces your damage party duration by 70%. This is why I go with reaching out over this. Because this is a gigantic pain in your ass. Okay? Uh, we are also obviously running Will to Rebuild. Okay. So, with that being said, let's look at our uh, build here. We're running the AA Mod, mod 2. Uh, we're running Steering Gears Mod 2. We're running the Target Acquisition Mod, and we are running Artillery Plotting Room Mod 2. Okay. Uh, for loadout, the flag camo. Uh, we did make this a shadow camo because, I mean, they, tell me that's not sexy. Tell me that that is not sexy. Obviously, if we could ever get out of the fucking UK so that we could actually see our ships with some light, it would be real nice. I appreciate the aesthetic for about five minutes, but it gets old after a while. It's kind of like that cherry blossom that they had from uh, Tokyo, or if you get or the uh, the Japanese like harbor, like uh, the same thing. I, I it was great for all of about five minutes, and it just got really fucking obnoxious, and that's what this port has done for me. But yeah, hopefully we'll get back to a regular port soon, and we'll be able to see our ships. But uh, shadow camo looks amazing on this ship. Really do like it. Uh, but yeah. With that being said, let's let's get right into it. I am going to be running a booster, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that. I am going to be running the epic booster for that little bit of extra range. Also, faster. Also, reload time on consumables. All the things. We got plenty of these saved up, so no reason not to. So that's what we're going to get into. Now, I have yet to get a game in this, so we, we have yet to play it. So let's get right into it, guys. Let's get right into it. Oh, goodness. Uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on this ship since I heard it was coming. And uh, it's now mine, officially. Let's get into it, baby. Also, I guess I could turn that off and flip that up since I don't talk in-game. Yeah, I didn't look at the stats because I don't really need to. Um, I kind of know what to expect. I'm sure it's slightly worse in most of the stats than the Iowa, with the exception of, uh, you know, armor and hit points and so on. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure the rudder shift is worse than the Iowa. I'm sure that the concealment's worse. As you can see, Iowa 14.8, 15.3 concealment for this thing. Um, but, yeah. One one Yami to worry about. There's a Roma on the enemy team. That's interesting. Don't see too many of those out. But, uh, yeah, let's do it. First game in the... F oh, better switch to AP. That would have been embarrassing. Ah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Now, the, the armor is not going... Like, it's still got a 32mm bow. Like, the only ship that can that can bow tank a Yami currently that faces a Yami, the only ship that can bow tank a Yami effectively is Gross to Kerr first. Everything else, it can go right through the bow on because 32mm bow. So... I'm sure this is no exception. This probably has the 32 millimeter bow. It's got slightly better belt armor from what I understand. Uh, so I, I'm looking forward to this. I'm not going to lie. Will this, will this be as much fun as I've hoped? I, I really think it will be. I've got high hopes. A little bit of, a uh, little bit of, uh, oh shoot, Frank Sinatra coming into the, to mind. I've got high hopes. I've got high hopes. I've got high apple pie in the sky. Hopes. Yeah. A little Frank Sinatra. Teammate, I need your support. Let's do it. Turning circle, I'm sure, is not good, but the Iowa doesn't have a very good turning circle either. So that makes sense. Oh. Our first victim. Wait for it. And... Bonk. <laughs> yep. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a real bad ship. It's a real bad ship, guys. Montana, totally not worth it. Very first salvo, dev striking a freaking hipper. What more can you ask for out of a battleship? It's a terrible ship. I highly, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. First shot on the broadside of a gross occur first. And he turns in. 
And in two salvos, we have 57,000 damage. <laughs> it's a terrible ship. It's a terrible ship. Nobody wants this ship. Just don't, don't bother. It's a terrible ship. It's terrible. Holy shit. First two salvos, we're at 57,000 damage. Yep. Yeah, terrible shit. It's terrible shit. You don't, nobody wants this. I'm spotted again, so somebody's in that gap. All stations, protect that target. Let's go for that super... Oh, actually, he's over here. Okay, I didn't get to see what it was. I got a decent salvo there. Can you please, like, turn the ship? I'm sitting here holding the thing to turn, and it just refuses to turn. I hate that. Okay, so we have a Shima, we have a Lo Yang. I'm thinking it's Shima that was over here. So I gotta be careful there. Look at that! That's a bow tanking guy. I just hit him for 11k through the superstructure. Sneak one last shot into a superstructure before he gets behind the island, possibly. Oh my god, we almost killed him. Dude, this thing slaps. I don't care what anybody says. This is the first freaking time I've used this thing. We're already neutering, folks. Speaking of neutering, folks. The scimitar is about to get ruined. Broadside and... Oh my god, he disappears. Please re fire your guns at me. I'm spotted, Roma. Shoot me. I'll go broadside for you. Yes! That's what we want to see, Roma! Wait for it! Oh, that's that could be death. Oh! Oh my god! You can't make this up! Anybody else want to go broadside to my freaking death cannon? Anybody? This is like Kansas on steroids. I, I want this. I want this ship in my life. This is, no. This is first game. This is first, we already got 130k. And because it gets 12 guns, this thing can probably dev strike destroyers. With AP. So I'm looking forward to that. I gotta be careful here. I know their Shima was here. I'm certain of it. I don't want to ruin my good game by getting torped by a fucking Shima that's continuously spotting me. Ah! See? Sneaky little bastard tried to get me. I knew it. I knew it. So we're going to charge forward. We're going to get this Roma off the board. And we're going to grab their other cap. This thing is disgusting. Torpedoes to port. Come on, get up to speed here, Montana. You should be faster than my Kansas, for God's sakes. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Shh! Don't tell him, guys! Don't tell him! Remember, this is just the front guns! Oh, that could be nasty. Oh, he started reversing! Oh, he got it into reverse just in time to save his life. Dang it! So yeah, this thing doesn't get up to speed very well. Uh, I know I don't run propulsion mods, so that's probably part of it, but... Wait for it! Boink! Oh, come on! Give it to me, baby! Well, that's less than ideal.
This is contested by the freaking Roma. Holy shit. Matthew coming in with the $5 dono. Been watching you for a while, so I figured time to pay up for all the tips. Stay cool. Also, Montana looks good. Absolutely. Much appreciated, my dude. Thank you for the $5 dono. Also, Rubber Baby Buggy Bumper coming in with a $20 dono. This thing spanks some serious hiney. Absolutely, my dude. Coming in just slapping fools, making sure they know what this is all about. That Alaska's about to be in our range, too. I know this Roma's here, so I don't want to give him a flat broadside to shoot at. But I also can't just sit here and wait for the Roma, either. So I'm going to start turning in. Let our DD deal with the Roma. Ouch. Okay, he's going to go forward, hopefully quickly. Not quick enough. I'm literally turning my back on that freaking Roma because I'm assuming he's about to get touched by our, uh, our destroyer. So... Considering he just shot me, I figure he's not going to be able to do much of anything to that destroyer. Wait for it! Ooh, five overpins. Good lord. Come on. How are they going to give him that much through my superstructure? And he gets the double fire. We got to get rid of this mains. Like, this mains is the biggest issue right now. Nice! That's huge. Okay, let's try to get back around. I got the gun off before he disappeared. And down goes our destroyer. Go ahead and pop that heal, because I feel like I'm going to need it. Running out of room. i got to turn, but I don't want to turn in, because this freaking Yami is going to ruin my life. Also, torpedoes. God dang it. Okay, Yami fired at somebody else. We're literally going to have to run aground broadside to a Yami. Which is never a good thing. Maybe we'll get lucky, get the bounce off the island.
Okay, we're not currently detected. Somebody still shot me, though. Burn, please. Shit. Don't do it to me, Yami! Please? With this shot, we should go over 200k in our very first game in this thing. We got very lucky right there. Yeah, there's our first 200k game. Turn hard to the... Uh, turn somewhere. Just anywhere. Dang, it's sad when the freaking Alaskas are hitting me harder than the freaking... The Yami is. Alright. We've got to get off this island before we get neutered. Uh, they're in our base. They're grab they've already got the points lead. There's the torpedoes that we knew would be coming. Torpedoes to port. Oh, there's more torpedoes. Oh my god, they ran out! Thank god. Thank god. They ran out. Wait, what? Huh! Bad boy, what you got? What you got? What you gonna do? How does he disappear? He's five kilometers away from me! That's unfortunate. We gotta assume the torpedoes are on the way. Okay, second destroyer's right there. Ah! Turn the other way, please! Tuck it in! Tuck it in! Ah! <laughs> so many torpedoes in this lobby! Why do they have to be so angry? Why are they so angry? Dude got going just in time. I didn't lead him enough. We tried, guys. It was a heck of a first game. I'll say that. It was a hell of a first game. Also, T90 coming in with the uh, $5 dono. Hey, Spartan, what do you think would be a good Russian legendary battleship or cruiser to be introduced? I think Savetsi Soyuz would be a good. I don't know, man. Honestly, I really don't. I don't know much about the uh, the Russian battleships on PC. Uh, isn't it the Kremlin? The Kremlin, the, the tier 10 Russian? Ah, so first game out in the Montana, 209,000 damage done. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it was a pretty solid one. Plus, we got all of the medals. We got the Dreadnought, Fireproof, Confederate, First Blood, High Cow, Death Strike, all the things. 2,000 base XP in our first ever game in the Montana. Do you think I'm going to enjoy this ship? I think so. I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot. <laughs> uh, that's That's good. That's good. We do not need Petro and Smolensk. That I can assure you. God knows we don't need any more HE spamming nonsense. Good lord. Uh, yeah, the belt armor withstood quite a bit in this one. We got to test it against GK and Yami, and both of them struggled on the belt of this thing. So that I don't think is going to be an issue. So, if a Yami starts to shoot at you, just give him a little lift the skirt, like I say. You know, just open up the angle a little bit. Get him to shoot your belt. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. Let's try game number two.
I mean, I pro I should probably end the stream right there, right? Like that's that's the game. Um. Let's see. I'm going to try something too. Let's see if that, okay, that's not working. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn that off. Never mind. Never mind. That immediately made everything go horribly on the stream, so we just won't do that. All right, what we got? We got Shima, Stalin, Yami, Kerfus, Kerfus, Conqueror, Shokaku. All right. All right. We get a central spawn. Yami right next to us. We do not need submarines. We didn't need carriers either. But at least the carriers that they brought to console aren't completely and utterly broken. So, at least we have that. But but still, like you don't need these things. You just don't. There's no reason to have them. They completely screw with the base game. They, they doesn't make any sense. Hence the reason that they were pulled from PC even. Okay, we have we have a curve first there. We got a Yami there. I'm spotted, so one of their destroyers is likely here in mid. Nope, it's a cruiser. I lied. Hey, it's a hipper again. I don't know how he disappears when he just fired his guns, but okay. Go ahead, fire your guns again, hipper. Let's see if we can make it two hippers in a row. Okay, destroyer's off my bow. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes to port. Enemy battleship sighted. I'm gonna try to go through the bow side plating on this Yami. That's the goal. Look at those rail guns. Why would I not like this ship? Ah, a little high still. We do have to be careful. Our freaking carrier is doing a good job of trying to get rid of this. Ouch. Okay. The carrier is at least chasing this Shima, so that's good. reach out and touch this gross occur first, shall we? We've got 16k currently. And we're only at 25. That wasn't the greatest. I think he turned out a little bit as he saw it coming. Ouch. So we're being shot by the Stalingrad on the other side of the damn map. Nice shot through the bow plating there, bud. Yeah, we, we gotta get out of here. 
Like, the fact that those guys are shooting us from the A spawn, or the C spawn over there, is not preferable. Not preferable. Our team sitting at mid is not doing a whole lot. That is 100% of Stalingrad shooting from freaking C spawn. Yeah, Noah, coming in with the uh, two-month sparse sheets. Absolutely beautiful. Appreciate you, my dude. Spotted by planes now. Not ideal. They got the curve first. Beautiful. Like, the Montana's AA should have no problem dealing with planes. Like, any plane that comes near a Montana should be shot down. Like, Montana has the best AA in the game. Like, it's not even close. Out of all the things you want to try to attack with a, a carrier, a Montana is not the one. I promise. Oh, hello. Uh, this is going to hurt both of us, I have a feeling. Yep. Actually, it hurt him a lot more than it did me. So that's beautiful. This is like a better Kansas. Like, it's just better in, like, every way. Attention. Get him, Gearing! And I love the Kansas, so, like, this is... Yeah, you can see shatters and bounces off the belt. Gearing gets to kill him. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Not gonna lie. Oh, turn back. We just hit that man for 27,000 damage. No Problem citadels. Solved, sir. That is a blapping. Thank God for will to rebuild. Oh. Our team has taken the lead. Boy, does it pay to be patient some days. Fuck you, Stalingrad. I'll be with you shortly. Also, Hipper. Rear turrets should make it around the island. Okay, so we have Stalingrad, Conqueror, all the things. He a hipper. Get rid of the hipper. How are you giving him that much through there? Like, I'm angled away. Those should, those should do basically nothing. Also, the double fire and doing 60,000 damage sucks fire. from the Conqueror. And I'm spotted by a fucking plane that's half a, half a fucking map away. Problem solved, sir. Hit 
cruise to starboard. He got his one torpedo away, and that's gonna kill me. Because this guy got outside my fucking will to rebuild. Damn it. This guy literally came over to me for will to rebuild and stayed there. And then right when I need him the most, he like sails away from me. But uh, should still be a win. Our guys are capturing A. That's going to give us the points lead. Azuma doesn't appear to be in a hurry to like ru rush the Stalingrad and Conqueror, which is probably for the best. The Otago's sitting on the back side of the island, doing what Otagos do. We just lost our freaking gearing, of course. What up, Hoss? How's it going? Can I not swear? Sorry, man. This is a live stream. Generally, spe generally speaking, that means I'm going to be swearing. So, uh, I do apologize if it's not your thing, but uh, it is it is going to be a thing. I put it down in the description for everybody as well, so... Come on, baby. Rid of the Otago. Azuma, can you finish the Otago? There you go. Good shot. All right. These guys have no choice. They have to push our guys. So if our guys just hold fast, we win. What is our CV doing? I mean, I'm not going to say anything bad about the CV. I have no idea what he's doing currently, but he was instrumental in removing that Shima, so I have nothing bad to say about him. Like, he did his job early on. Those are the torpedoes from the uh, Otago. It looks like the island's going to catch most of the ones that could possibly do damage. reason we're watching this play out is I'm only playing the uh, the Montana tonight, guys. Just as a heads up. And we're probably only going to be streaming for like two hours max. But uh, I really, really wanted to play the Montana. I just unlocked it. Uh, the last game was my first. This is only my second game in the ship. So, so far, I'm loving it. This wasn't the best game in terms of damage, but we took a lot of hits. We took a lot of, a lot of potential damage in this one. Like, two full salvos of torpedoes from uh, Shima. God knows how much damage that is. It's 300,000 apiece. So that's at least 700,000 right there. And then, of course, the gross occur first broadside. He was shooting at me the entire game. So that's a lot more potential. Like, there was, there was a lot of potential damage. The Stalingrad being able to shoot me from Charlie's what kind of ended up screwing me over. Because my guys didn't didn't win that side of the map our guys stayed kind of like middle of the map and came through late also we just going to take into consideration that that carrier just flew his plane straight into a mountain to drop torps on this alaska <laughs> i feel like that should be a thing our team is trying to throw here they don't have to do anything like we win this game right now this is a textbook winning harder they don't have to do anything. All they have to do is live. This is textbook winning harder, which throws matches. The carrier's got the right plan. All he has to do is live, so just run away. This Alaska's is going to likely die. That's going to flip the points for a temporary, like temporarily. Gross occur first is probably going to die because he doesn't have any hit points. So these guys could win this match right now because these guys just refuse to disengage. There goes the Alaska. That's the Kraken for the freaking Stalingrad. This guy's going to die in the Kerfurst right in uh, about now. And that flips the points. They're up by 140 points with uh, 
not very long left. Again, this was this was an unnecessary loss. These guys could have won. All they had to do is disengage. Force those guys to come to them. Instead, they keep like piddle farting around, going around the corner, letting the guys focus each one of them. And we lose the match solely because of that. Textbook. All they had to do was nothing. They went. But they couldn't do it. They, ha they had to just keep giving themselves up one at a time. So uh, well done to the Stalingrad over there. I don't know about the Conqueror, other than he got a couple fires on me there. But the Stalingrad for sure did his job. Oh, well. It is what it is. You can't win them all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, those guys didn't have to push up. There was no reason for them to push. There was absolutely no reason for them to push. All they had to do was wait for them to come around the corner. Alaska would have murdered Stalingrad as he turned the corner. Uh, they just... They, they, they did everything wrong. They took way too long coming over to this side because they sat at the back side of the middle spawn for so long. And then when they finally did come over, they just fed themselves one at a time to them instead of... Like, forcing them to come to them. So, textbook throw, guys. Textbook throw. Gotta love it. Lost money, but... On to the next one! What up, Gear? How's it going? Paul? TJ? Santiago? Checkmate? Atomic? Christian? Todd C. Finney? Andy? Joshua, Chris, Shina in the house. It's 2.30 a.m., Shina. Yeah, I hear you there. Eh, it's not quite that late here. It's only 9.30 p.m. here. We got a snowstorm coming, too. Apparently, uh, Sunday night, we're supposed to get uh, four to eight inches of snow here in Ohio, so that'll be fun. There's a potential for a little bit more than that. Uh, Yeah, that's the thing about that's the thing about games where people get to influence it with their their bad play. Like people just they can't they can't uh, multitask. People do not have multitask ability. They're so used to having cell phones and stuff to do everything for them that they just cannot multitask. So they don't look at the map. They they're constantly staring down the sights of their guns. Like I get caught I get caught tunnel visioning occasionally, but for the most part I got a pretty good awareness of what's going on. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want an, a legendary ship currently for the Italians, considering they haven't done anything good for the Italians yet. Like they, t they, they take everything that makes the, the Italians unique and they throw it away. The, the battleships only get a freaking uh, tank build commander. They don't get a dispersion build commander, so that makes them extremely one-dimensional and very bad in my opinion. Um, I don't hate the ship. I just hate the fact that they force you to play it as a tank build. Because it means you can't hit anything outside 12 kilometers. And then uh, on top of that, the cruisers, they rolled out. They didn't even have their rolling smoke screen. So they just implemented that. They still don't have SAP, which is the one thing that makes the Italian cruisers good. Like there's, I don't know what Wargaming in, uh, has against these Italian in the uh, Legends, but somebody does. Getting a beautiful raised citadel from a Kerr first. Twenty-two thousand damage opening salvo. Can't argue with that. How many Yamis they got? Two? Okay. Oh, fuck. Peaks in here. God dang it. Yeah, that means Aaron's in the Kaaba. Great. Aaron and Peak. Fuckers. At least this will give me a chance to prove Peak wrong about the Monty.
Hi, Aaron. Dude, the fucking Stalingrad is punching right through me. Of course it's Zatu. Like, Peak's a bad shot. We just made him miss. But Zatu just hit me for like 15k right there. Somehow. I have teammates, but, uh, you know, having a teammate that's willing to do anything useful on this side of the map is just asking too much, clearly. Like, none of them spotting anything. They're just gonna hide behind this island for the entire match. Why does this happen every time I'm in a match with fucking Peek and A-Run? Got a good touch on Peek. Again, I got no teammates. This Amagi's dead. This freaking cruiser's dead. None of them's doing a damn thing. My destroyers are all fucking on the other side of the map. Fuck it. Yo, Shina coming in with a 20-pound dono to Mr. S because you're fabulous. Happy Friday. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, Queen. Trying to break Peek's guns, but not happening. He had his guns turned. I thought I could get some pins on him. Look at Peek staring at me. He's just staring at me. He wants it. See if we can't touch A around here. A good touch on A Ron. Hustle! Help! <laughs> I got A Ron and Peek and Zatu against me. How many bots can I go against in one match? Dude, can I finish him off right here? Can I finish Aaron over the mountain, through the woods? I got one hit. God dang it. Okay, there's Zatu. We're gonna pay attention to that. He's actually giving me kind of a juicy angle from here. for trouble my dude the ship is on fire come on and shoot at me Aaron Go ahead. Man, Peek, if only you were good at the game and you could actually hit what you're aiming at. Good lord. I left him alive, of course. Fucking island is in the worst possible spot ever. Problem solved, sir. He gets another fire, he's probably gonna double fire me. The ship is on fire. If 
finally, Peek hits me for a decent chunk. Tell you, if I had some teammates actually doing something useful, it would be real helpful. He comes in to yoink the fucking kill off of Aaron. Like, at least give Aaron the kill. He's the only one that did damage to me, Peek. Why you gotta take all the fucking credit? But, uh, yeah. I mean, fucking got Shima hiding in the back of the map with the Riga and the Amagi that have done nothing for the entire match. Everybody on the left side did nothing. Uh, this is a textbook. This is literally what happens every time I'm against these guys. It's not that they did anything useful. Their whole fucking, like, their division literally just stayed on my side of the map and, and shot at me the entire game. Yet, my team can't do anything. But, whatever. Uh, you, you gotta love it, man. One, one, you know, that's their 30% win rate confirmed, right? Isn't that what they say? Like, their 30% win rate, so they get all the fucking amazing players to balance out their bad play. Is that what it is? Amagi shooting AG. Fantastic. Love to see that. That explains a lot, actually. Explains a lot. Thought these guys were playing arena anyway. What, they see I was streaming, so they decide to come over and stream snipe me? Wouldn't be surprising. They literally said they were going to play arena. Doesn't matter. Like I said, they're not the ones that fucking won this game. Their team won this game. My team did absolutely god off just nothing. They sat on their side of the map and got to shoot at me for the entire game. I kept them distracted. My team still couldn't do anything. Which is pretty impressive. Pete got $50 for killing me. So that's why Aaron didn't shoot me to kill me. Of course. Hell, fuck it. Pete's killing tonight, dude. Pete's got over... When I left Pete's stream, he had like $900 in donos. But that's ridiculous. That's absolutely insanity. This guy misses peak from point fucking blank with torpedoes from Ashima. Battle ends in five minutes. Imagine being in a fucking Yami, getting to shoot at a broadside Monty, and like doing a total of like 10 to 15k to me for the entire match. But he gets the kill, so he gets 50 bucks. What a waste of time. Well, there you go. Fantastic fucking team. Shima, the easiest fucking thing to play in the game. Bottom of the fucking leaderboard. Love to see it. Where do these guys place? Oh, I don't know. Peaks halfway to the fucking bottom. We got uh, Aaron up there because he got a lot on me. Where's the fucking Stalingrad? Zatu below him. So yeah, Zatu and Peak holding up the bottom of their t their team, and Aaron sneaking into the top with his fire damage on me. Thanks, fellas. Once again, I appreciate you guys stream sniping me every time I stream. Really do. Glad it's a thing. I'm glad you guys come. These guys complain about stream snipers so fucking much, but they stream snipe they stream snipe me every fucking chance they get. Every chance they get. So fuck you both. And you too, Zatu, just for being there. I like the the Montana so far. I really do. I think it's a good ship. I mean, my very first game, I put up, what, 207,000 damage in the first fucking game? It just wasn't shit for me to do. I had fucking Aaron sitting there burning me down, so I shot him like twice. Took most of the health off of him. 
I had an Amagi that was shooting HE for the entire game, apparently. I had a fucking Riga that didn't do anything. My destroyers were completely useless. I mean, you saw the Shima came bottom of the team. How do you come bottom of the team in a Shima? Of all the ships, you're bottom of the team in a Shima. This is the easiest ship in the game to play. Oh. Oh, this could be nasty. This, this could actually be nasty. Or it'll just satter seven fucking rounds off the broadside of a Yami. Are you fucking kidding me? How do I shatter seven rounds off the broadside of a fucking Yami that has no camo? Talk about bot protection, Jesus. The game is just like, no, Spartan. How dare you slap this man? That should have been another slap. Like, that's two two potential slaps right there on a broadside Yami. That should be just absolutely devastating. That like, dude is doing nothing to avoid this. And the game is just protecting him. You telling me that this thing doesn't have the penetration to go through the broadside of a fucking Yami? Come on. All stations requesting fire on the designated and of course, two of their destroyers are here. Come on, Cleveland. Use your fucking guns, Cleveland! Why is our Cleveland not firing his fucking guns? Fine, I'll shoot him. That Cleveland literally just went down without firing a single fucking shot, I think. That's unbelievable. Like, that kind of stupidity just can't exist. Torpedoes astern. Attention. Reporting a target position. Boop. He doesn't have the range to hit me. Nice work. So they've lost two of their three destroyers. Fantastic. Love to see that. Their Yami died already. Who'd have saw that coming, am I right? Dude did everything in his power to throw his ship away. Speaking of throwing his ship away. That could be down downright nasty for this Georgia. Attention. Reporting a target position. Enemy heavily damaged. And uh freaking Kaba's on the other side of the map, so there's that. I'm just gonna assume this George is dead here. I mean, that guy just shit out 15 torpedoes in the direction of that. Let's see if we can't knock out this uh, GK or get a good chunk on the GK. That was not what I was looking for. And of course, George only took one torpedo or no torpedoes, I, I can't tell. He's still alive, so that's unfortunate. All right, let's punch his superstructure, try to get rid of him. I don't think I'll finish him, but I'll definitely hurt him. Of course. Look, look at that. 18,000 damage to the superstructure of that Georgia. 18,000 damage to the superstructure of a fucking Georgia. Our team has taken the lead. Like, good lord. Go ahead and 
and smack this GK who's over angled. He's gonna. I went for the superstructure because he decided that uh, he was gonna turn out. So there's another good chunk. But you can hear all the all the bounces and shatters that these guys score off of us. Like it's really not. The the belt armor on this thing's pretty solid. I don't know what happened that time. Shells didn't decide to go where I aimed them, I guess. Tried to hit the superstructure and they went everywhere but, I think. Oh, down goes our Fletcher. Turns out, rushing a GK and a Fletcher. Ends poorly. Seventeen K plus he's taking the torpedoes. Is it gonna finish him? Nope. All stations, concentrate fire on that target. Hey, GK number one down. We've got the GK right here. Uh, and the two cruisers are coming into the base from the other side, so Did he kill the Bismarck? He did not. Uh, looks like he's flooding, though, so Bismarck's dead. All right. Go back and defend the base, I guess. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Uh, boy, these, these games with half the teams being destroyers is kind of freaking obnoxious, isn't it? Really isn't a whole lot of fun to be had. All you get is destroyers that yellow everything. Really kind of takes the, the fun out of it. All forces protect the base. Retreat now. We're gonna point our nose right at the base and just full throttle this bitch. Full throttle, let's see what the shoot open them up. Let's see what she'll do. Get those boilers a cooking, baby. I have no idea what the top speed of this thing is, but we're about to find out. Probably the same as the Iowa's, probably like 27. Because we've got the uh, gyrating drill bits. Uh, 27.4. Alright. 0.5.6. We found a new gear, guys. We're going to hit 28. That's not bad. When you consider the size of the ship, that's not bad. Okay, what's left? We got a mine. Okay, two mines. That ain't a problem. That ain't a problem. We got three heels. We got 12 guns. We, we can deal with a couple ger uh, German cruisers. I ain't scared. We got one guy headed back to defend the base. We've got the points lead. So, or one guy headed to their base and we're headed back to defend. So, we're doing okay in that mint. So, it looks like 27.8 knots is our top speed flat out with gyrating drill bits obviously i'm running the epic epic booster so keep that in mind that gives me the extra range too so i can shoot out to uh 19.98 kilometers in this map nice work. so that's the thing a lot of people will argue this with me so i'm going to show you guys live on stream right now okay a lot of people argue the fact that your range changes in battleships depending on how large the map is so on this map, since it's a smaller map, our range is only 19.98 to 99, okay? That is our maximum range, okay? 19.99 on this map. But on another map, if we get a big map, I'll show you that one, and we'll end up with like 20.1 20, uh, 20 or something like that. If we get a big map, I'll show you. What up, Cameron? Appreciate you dropping in, my dude. Shirako in here as well. Caden. Golden Spartan, how's it going? You're about to get Alaska? Enjoy, man. Seriously. 
it's it's a good boat. Alaska's nasty since the buff, so. Can you fucking agree with where you want to aim? All right. All right, we should get another shot here with the guns. I think we got him. I think we got him. Good night. Enemy cruiser foundered. Hey, what happened to your buddy there, bud? Oh, he stopped shooting his guns. Imagine that. He's like, nope, I don't want any more of this. <laughs> oh, he just fired again. What's he going to do? Is he going to go into that freaking gap or is he going to turn out? <laughs> yep <clears throat> yeah i think i think it's a good ship guys montana and i are gonna have just just fine we're gonna be just fine i don't think we're gonna have any issues in this ship Hundred fifty thousand damage confederate high cow top of the leaderboard did everything we need to do fast enough to get from one side of the map to the other uh accurate consistent i i love it i love the ship so far man YouTube is acting up. What do we got? Stream is messing up. I mean, it looks fine on my side. Like, I'm watching the stream back as I'm streaming. And it looks like it's running smooth for me. So, it might just be on you guys. I have a total of, I guess I am showing 17.7% .7 dropped frames at the moment, which is not preferable. Oh, shit. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Fuck you three, badly. by the way. Just want to say that. Dude, we had a double $50 donut. We had to do it. Mm. Must I be nice. Where's my way. 50 bucks for getting shit on? Huh? Where's my 50 bucks? <laughs> that was the Bro, I'm not going to lie. Dude. You had some good shots on me. Yeah, I did. I, I actually, I was surprised I didn't kill you on the last one. Not going to lie. But, uh, it turned out. But yeah, I was... I, I was la I was making fun of Peak the entire time, and I I'm not gonna lie, like literally, literally as Peak shoots at me to get the kill, I'm like they're really gonna let Peak kill me. Like Aaron does all the work with his fires, and they're gonna let Peak get the fucking kill. I think Peak had a total yeah. of 12k damage on me the entire game. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I only shot you a couple times. My That's team you just did Kurt nothing. Come up through the middle and just sit there and got my broadside, and I had to focus up on him and everybody else. I had an Amagi shooting HE the entire you, game. I caught you turning. I put a plane up. You look beautiful. You should have been... Uh, Dude, my, uh, my first game in the Monty, 207,000 damage. Like, like, literally, can't, first shot was a dev strike on a hipper. Like, this thing's nasty. I like this a lot. And it's got amazing belt armor. Of course, now I'm getting just toasted. Fire. I've got a Riga and a Cleveland out here. Oh, you're yeah. Already getting, yeah. I had just started a game when you guys, or when I saw your message, so. Okay. Oh, you want to run one then? Absolutely. 
Oh, Aaron, Jesus Christ. Breda asked Aaron, do you have a medical based education, right? Yeah, um, master's in biomedical sciences. Right now, Breda trying to go to medical school, Breda. Oof. Blown I just up got the bathroom. Touched. Rest in peace, bathroom. This, between Quick, this where's the Cleveland crying? and these two grosses, <laughs> like, I'm in trouble. You know that your your stream is lagging pretty hard. I just right? saw that. Like everybody's saying that they're having issues, so I'm gonna check into what's going on. It shouldn't be. I didn't change anything. But I don't know. I just turned it on. It was like e I'm gonna get that guy. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh shit. Is this me? I thought I was done. Yeah. Here's here's the problem. My team's running away from me again, and I've got everybody on their team coming over to fight me, and one of them's a fucking Cleveland, so he's burning me down. I got two gross occur first to Cleveland, a Riga, and a George over here shooting at me. I'm not gonna live very long here. This guy's about to have me double fired again. Like, are you <laughs> angle in this thing? Nothing gets through it. Like, even Yami just ricochets and bounces off the side of this thing. But ugly, I, I almost peed my pants. What do you say? He asked the guy if he had blue hair. <laughs> Just want to give a warm shout out to the gross occur first in the Bismarck that spawned with me and immediately turned tail and ran away to leave me to fight literally their entire team. Well, that was the quickest match in the Monty yet. I'm I'm done with my match. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wait, that was. Oof. Or hey, love you for it. Have a good night, brother. All right, I'm going to try to sort out what's going on with my stream. I'll probably just restart it, lower the bit rate a little bit. Did you restart it whenever you were in that game with us? Uh, no. Because your stream cut, and it, it spawns back, you're dead, and there's two minutes left. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't know what's going on. It's a risky, it's a risky turnout here. People came into mine and were like, he turned off his stream. Nope. Yeah, there's definitely something going on, but... Let me uh, get with chat, and I'll restart the stream. All right, guys. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to reset. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so let me just reset the stream and see if that fixes it. Look at this nice rental. Because, yeah, we're at 20.6 in drop frames account. right now for no reason. So let me let me just reset. It... Okay. I'm going to send some torps into it. Oh, you just disconnected. Oh, no. He just lagged out. Oh, no. Apparently that didn't fix his issues, huh? No, dude. He's gonna be so pissed. Damn, I'd be... I'd be pissed off if I was him too, paying for fiber, getting fucked over like he has been lately. Dude, I feel like they're doing... Like, it's... Yeah, I, I would too. Alright, let's see. That should hopefully fix the issues on stream. Hopefully. I wanna shoot. Oh, fuck me. This could be bad if this guy's just sitting in his smoke right here. Yep. Alright guys, we back. Sorry about that. I went ahead and reset the stream. I dropped the bitrate down a little bit. Sometimes with cable. Uh, because the way cable works, I don't know if you guys know this or not. But uh, the way cable works is cable runs through like a bus. So uh, if a lot of people in my area are using the cable at one time, it can kind of uh, slow everybody's cable down just a little bit. And I think that might be what we're having. So I just dropped the bit rate a little bit. That should help with the uh, stability. It's going to be a little bit fuzzier, but you guys probably won't even notice. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully everything's back up and running normal. Also, uh, Tarun, thank you for being a member for your two months. Much appreciated, my dude. What up, Nico? Oh, I'm definitely dead. Can we please wear the helmet? It was nice knowing you. So you want me to wear the helmet? I guess I could probably do that. And I got one. Oh, I got them both off. All right. Well, that's gonna be a quick game. Let's do it. Did did his did his chat did it? I think his chat went down too.
Aaron, check your Discord messages. I think you'll be surprised and pressed. All right. Oh, he turned. All right, I'm just going to leave that game. Speak lagged out. <laughs> Greta, do you care if I read this on stream or no? Do you want me to keep this private? Hey, Odin, bro, I'm, I'm don't take this the wrong way, but you're just getting put in timeout. You're 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 coming into my chat causing a problem. If you want to come in here and discuss things, and you know you can say solo or whatever, but you're insulting people and all that shit, get the fuck out of here. First of all, you're gonna be timed out. The next time you do it, you're just gonna be kicked permanently. I'm not dealing with it. Hmm. You sound so salty just trying to argue with everyone in chat. Okay, so... Right grade 3 open coming in intra-articular distal femur fracture. Ouch. Holy fuck, dude. Right bimetal 3 grade 3 open fracture dislocation. Ugh. Our neck fracture. <laughs> Damn, everyone's waving him off. Aaron is All right, Chad, people. I just reset it again. We're going to drop the resolution down to 1080. See if that helps a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Again, I'm assuming it's something uh, internet related. Not on me. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, just assuming that maybe there's an excess, like, amount of people doing stream right now or using the cable in the area. Uh, but that'll hopefully drop the frame rate or drop the dropped frames. It's coming down pretty quick, so I'm assuming it's stabilized. So hopefully we're good there. Hey, Ryan, what's up, brother? Well, see ya. Yeah, now I'm canceling people. Right, but ugly. I don't let them just fully just... Uh, if people come into my chat and screw around and say shit like a talker, like when they come in just to trash talk other people, like, they're gone. I don't even play with he, them. He came in and, and, and we were talking about stuff, and he says Vanguard is the best tech tree battleship. And I said, okay, disagree. It's good. It, it's better now with the fourth buff, fourth round of buffs, uh, but it's definitely not the best. No. And I made my points, and then he just started just calling me out that I don't play solo and I'm not good and all this stuff. I said, okay, when you stream, I can, I'll come into your chat. But he is now no longer with us. Seems Peak is having the same diff- Dude, that sucks, man. It's every night at the same time. Yeah, that's just bullshit. Like, people- People are just- Like, people have no ability to have an open discourse with anybody else. Anybody who doesn't agree with them, they just completely dismiss as being a terrible human being, rather than actually having an argument to support what they believe. That's that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong. Tebow just though. posted a video of his his opinion on what is the best battleships at tier seven currently, and so that's sparked quite a bit of a, a nice little debate among people lately. And I've thought about doing my own video because there's there's a couple ships that I disagree with Tebow on, um, but yeah, I mean overall, I think Kansas is the best tier seven battleship currently. With its fucking accuracy, it is literally god tier. Uh, like, it is insane. But. I'm gonna have to disagree with you as well, but the JP, the, the, the Kansas isn't bad. It's, it's a little slow, and it does have some weird uh, angles that get penetrated quite a bit. But other than that, like, the, the Kansas is nasty, man. It's so freaking accurate now. Like, when you're slapping people without citadels for 21 plus, like, I'm, I'm not going to say it's a bad ship, you know? 
it's, it's a little slow, but proper positioning can keep you from having to worry about it being slow more often than not. Uh, and the fact that, I mean, uh, Peak, Peak says that it it's, can't go up against Yami's and grows the curve first and stuff, and I disagree because if you angle it well, it can absolutely bounce Yami shells. It can absolutely bounce grows the curve first shells. It's just that, you know, it's not for everybody, and everybody, that's the thing about this game, is everybody has different ships that they, they, they have different things about ships that they enjoy. For me, it's always been consistency. I prefer ships that do what I, that I know what I'm going to get when I pull the trigger. That's why I prefer the American battleships over all the other battleships. But, but everybody's opinion on ships can be completely different. Even if they like the same ship, the reasons that they like a ship can be completely different. What's that? All right, Nugget. Uh, thank you for becoming a spar ship, my dude. Much appreciated. And uh, Refor coming in with a ten dollar dono. Much appreciated, my dude. Thank you for the ten dollar super chat. Yeah, share it on my Discord on my general if you want, brother. Uh, are Kansas you... is a beast, and there's no debate. Are Not you... disagreeing on that, Nate. You gonna invite me? Uh, yeah. I kind of want to wait for him again, but I know he's just. Probably raging at this shit. Yeah, I mean, we can wait for him. I just figured we get into division or whatever. We can run one or something while we're waiting for him. You looking? Uh, no, I wasn't. I thought you were in a division already, so you could just send it through chat, but I can do that. Um... Well, I'm officially looking. What do you want? Uh, my Montana's still in battle, so I can run whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. Don't care either. But yeah, my very first game in the Montana was 207,000 damage. It's just Dude, I, I don't... I I like it. I do too. I, I don't... I But it's not... What, what Peak is, is... What I'm saying is, even if it's introduced in the current... Like, you have to be a decent player to do well in it. Just, just like certain ships. The Montana is not anything special. It's just a great American battleship. That, that's all it is. But it's, you know. <clears throat> Unpopular limit. Unpopular opinion, but I really like the Roma. There's a lot of people that like the Roma. I like the ship. I just don't like the fact that Wargaming forces you to play it as a brawler. Exactly. Like if they exactly. gave if they gave me a dispersion build commander, which they do for every other nation, which makes no sense why they would limit the Italians, but for whatever reason they did, so they you're stuck with a brawler. It's just not not fun to play in that capacity. Like it can be good if if people let you get close, but more often than not, they just don't. It's got a very tanky bow, which is nice. Yeah. Yum wide fu, red fox killer. Biggs. Well, I'm glad Biggs is on our team. All right. Back into Bolty, baby. I wish Roma just, yeah, just like what Spartan was saying, I wish Roma had an accuracy commander or something, but... Hey, guys. I just... Wait until they bring Ohio. I... I'm gonna love it. I would love Ohio. I would love Ohio and Des Moines. Dude, Des Moines is game over. Best one player. But anyway, um, All right. I think I'm just gonna go wide over here. I think. I me too. The problem is we don't have a spot. I kind of want to cut. I'll cut out. How many overmatches? One in Iowa, two in Iowa, three in Amagi. I mean, given the fact that they. I'm sorry. Lance Corporal Gregory sounds familiar, but. Uh, I'm Z52, yeah. I'm assuming that the Shima's not going to spawn on this side. I don't know. They've been fucking up the spawns recently. At the end of the day, there's only one, two, three, three people that overmatch us. Or at least overmatch me.
Ben, this is a uh, a filter for a Spartan helmet. It was requested. Spartan, I'm gonna play the so I'm gonna run a couple matches with it. In this thing right here. What was that, Aaron? Sorry, I was talking. No, I was. I'm, I said I'm gonna play like the angled height height game, right here. All right, that's cool. I'm hesitant to go into the cap until we know what's I'm, over here. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to see that. Hello, Mogami. Oh, he disappeared. Really? He turned it. Ouch. Of course, their eye was right here. Mm-hmm. Can I disappear? Oh, god dang it. There's their Azuma. Why will they See, always spawn the one thing too. that freaking, like, they, every time, like, they oh always spawn the God. one thing that can absolutely counter what I'm doing. Like, they spawn the, the Iowa you right gotta love here. It, right? Hey, Trank, what's up, dude? Pretty sure Wargame is trolling us, but either adding light cruisers or super cruisers. I bet they release something dumb next. Yeah, exactly, dude. There's no balance. We either have cruisers that can overmatch every everything and have a bunch of armor, or light cruisers that are spammers. You get away from this fucking Iowa's ability to spot me. For real. Slow down, Azuma. That's true, they might make it. That's actually a good Now point. they got a plane to spot. They, they might make it. Might make it AP only. What's that, the Des Moines? Mm-hmm. No, they won't make it an AP only. You don't think so? No. They haven't done anything like that Dumb for any of the other cruisers in the game. Stalingrad? Yeah, but Stalingrad it was AP only on PC, right? No. No, it has HE. It had HE. Solved, sir. Well, I can't see them making an American cruiser I, I with agree. two threes AP only. Dude, this fucking I, Mogami is tearing me up but... because he can spot me with a fucking plane. Like, this shit's getting old. Dude needs to go the fuck away. He's, I don't know how he's able to, like, keep lobbing oh, this Ramsey's island. Is on the team. But he's tearing my ass up with HE. And his plane just keeps swooping back over to spot me over and over again. Is Look at that. Just fucking hits half his shells on the island and then hits two shells on me. Gets like 3k. And I have no way to like do anything about it. I can't spot him unless he's within nine. I guess I can radar. He is. Fuck you. Um, ruin him. Oh, yeah. I just got two ricochets and a fucking. Come on, man. Dude does more damage with HE than I do with AP on him. Really? On the broad side uh, of a Mogami. Iowa, Iowa's looking at you. Yeah, he can't hit me. I'm not too worried about him. What is my uh, Balti? Is like, come on, Balti. I know you're better than this. His unit is such a fucking bad shit. There we go. If he angles, suddenly I can fucking Citadel him. Oh, I'm gonna get the tank in. Uh, you're gonna run into an island if you keep on that course. Oh my god, the fucking Shima's right there. Okay, Didi's dead. Oof, didn't actually think about that. He somehow snuck a torpedo in there. Gets this guy is literally just literally just looking at me the whole game. Two battleships sitting in front of him. Uh huh. Let's see how this guy likes HE. You like the HE? Huh? How about you like your guns? And he disappears. 
I don't think he liked my HE. We're gonna have to make, we're gonna have to win this side soon. The other side is gonna okay. fall, I fear. Problem is, this Iowa's gonna nuke me the first chance he gets. Yeah, he's been trying to shoot me the whole game. Yeah, that's what I'm hey, saying. Chaz, he shot up, at dude? me for the first two minutes, and I was like, well, I gotta hide behind this Kudos island. Kudos to Aaron for the destruction of the Super Unicum Division. Great video. Thanks, Chaz. Well, we got a little lucky, but I think I played it pretty well. Just don't tell that to the other guy in the chat. I'm gonna work on trying to get an angle to shoot this Iowa, hopefully, without him being able to spot me. All right, Bori. All right, but ugly. And he's behind the island, so I can't. And there's an Azuma. Forgot about him. Yeah. Funny how I say I'm about to like push around the corner and get shots on the eye when he reverses to hide behind the island. Okay, how did the Azuma just disappear? I was in range to spot him. Was he reversing? I don't know. I threw, let's throw a plane up. We'll see. Okay, there's the fucking piece of shit Mogami that's been hiding back there uh -huh. the entire game waiting to shoot me. I was actually playing it decently well. Yeah. Everybody on this side is. That's what, that's the problem. I can't fucking deal with the Mogami because he's on the back side of an island. Can't see him most of the time. The Azuma's perfectly placed to negate most of the damage I can do to him. Dude, I'm, I'm going to reposition. We've got three ships here. I need to, I need to go to the other side. Okay. I, I just can't do anything either in this ship. I wish I you. Of course he did. And he's completely disappeared. Like, I can't see him. He can shoot over the fucking island, apparently. It's like, he's just fucking nuked me. Like, there's nothing I can do. The one thing that perfectly counters me, they put right fucking next to me. Every time. Is that a rudder built? No. So like... Alright, these two are just gonna stay next to each other, which is good. I would just shot again. How is he not detected? Because he's on the back side of an island. He's able to lob the fucking island and nuke me. And this is right, well, spotting for on that side. I don't know how a fucking two battleships can be charging a fucking Azuma and he's still alive. Like, how is the Azuma not dead? Damn it. I got 800 hit points left. Nice work. I don't know how it takes two fucking Iowas this long to get rid of one fucking Azuma. About to get detected. Nice. I was hoping I didn't have to shoot again because he would have saw me. And you know damn well he would have shot me. <sighs> so we pulled it out. Having two battleships move forward for once in their fucking life is a huge difference. Who'd have thought it? Two Iowas. Took him that long to just decide to move forward. Yep. And a guy in my chat just told me he was in the Iowa blipping me. Go figure. Who would never have guessed it was a stream sniper sitting there waiting for me to pop up and taking shots at me only. I would have never have thought that. Would you have thought that, a -Roll? Who'd have thunk it? But I never thunk it. But GG. Is that people stream sniping in the Mogami? <laughs> and here comes the shot from the fucking... Dude literally wasn't... He was holding his fire just to shoot at me when I lit up. Unfucking believable. LOL. He Good literally balance. didn't shoot at anybody. To you tonight. Until I fucking... Maybe he didn't have anybody to shoot at. Maybe he's just spotted and nobody was shooting him, so he was just waiting. And I just happened to be the guy that he was staring at the entire time. Oh, well. That was a shitty fucking game in my balti. But that's what happens when everybody plays perfectly to fucking screw you over. You got a Mogami using islands to, to fuck you over with a plane. And Iowa just sitting there staring at you the entire time.
Look at that. I would just blap the fuck out of that guy. Why is this? Why does it take these people so long to move up? I'll never understand it. I'll never understand why battleship players refuse to just move forward once in a while. It's so effective when they do. Why, de why decide to sit at 20 kilometers and slug it out and hit one or two shells a salvo when you can push forward and get crossfires and just obliterate things? Have a good night, guys. Appreciate you guys. Who's this guy? Uh, appreciate it, Monty. I don't hide the screen when I'm queuing up because the people should have enough respect to not fucking stream stink. Like, just plain and simple. Like, just have respect. It's that simple. Like, I've said it multiple times. I'm not going to get into it again in this stream. Just have the respect to not try to ruin the stream. It's that simple. I understand you enjoy what we do, but you, you really don't need to, to stream stink. We're just trying to have some fun. All right, what you want? Uh, I mean, if Peak's not back yet, we can go back to Legendary. I'll try to run the Monty again. Okay. <clears throat> what up, Asif? How's it going? Aaron, I just got the Kava. What... Are you using Guru? It's all good, Andy. Your, like like I said, I'm not saying you're stream score. sniping. It was one and game, but Sims it's just something that happens all the time. Elven range. And like I said, it's pretty obvious when people do it. But just don't make a habit of it. Hopefully and if you play, the, if you just happen to get in a game with yes, me, yes. It looks like he's behaving. Just play yeah, the game normal. Note, do you like Lion? I do. Yeah, GG Biggs. Good work. I like the Lion. Good AP, 16 inch AP. Good heal. Good HE. Not the best firing angles or kiting angles, but that's your trade-off. So many people have asked me to get the lion, and I'm like, dude, I'm not spending that kind of money to open crates to get enough freaking coins to get that yeah. damn thing. It's just not a thing. If I didn't get to test it, I wouldn't have tried it. Hey, that's one of the downsides of not being a CC anymore, folks. You're not going to see every single ship right away. I do get most of the ships, but... If... but... If you would, you like head on over to uh, www.youtube.com where slash forward slash where are you a <laughs> Just kidding. Exactly. exactly. If you guys want to check out all the new ships right away, you got to let them peek and where are you a Ron just begging for you guys to come over. And they no, are no. CCs. I hate, they get I all hate, stuff. I hate, I'm probably not going to be one for much longer. I'm sure I'm first on the kick out list. Mm, I doubt it. You have Monarch? I actually don't, Wiz. I never got Monarch. Enemy force I do. Not a big fan of it. It's okay. It's tanky, but it's oh just my underwhelming God, and everything Greta. else. Dude. Oh, hello. Of course. The moment I go to pull the trigger, he disappears just long enough to fuck up my shot. That is so fucking about, obnoxious. I, I know. The auto-aim, that shit's annoying as shit. Yeah, just missed every one of those on a broadside fucking attempt with the plane up. Just sol solidly due to the fact that the guy blinks out of existence for the only moment as just when my when I fire my guns. Uh, as soon as I hey, fire my guns, he guy? pops right back up. And the eye, or they give the fucking Yami a fucking citadel on me over the mountain. I got a shot out at your Deary. Got a little bit of a touch. Need to move from Torps. Come on, hurry up, get the guns loaded. This Kuchizov's begging for it. Rear guns might make it past that, but I think the front guns are fucked. Jesus, 
Uh, the fact that every one of their battleships is here is not preferable. And the fact that that yeah, gearing is just out? keeping me spotted. If I turn, I'm going to get fucking obliterated. Yeah, there it is. Just gave a fucking citadel to the Grossa first off my bow as soon as I started turning. I'm spotted by a fucking plane that's God knows where. Wait. I I'm dead right here. The army just got a I shot think, on I me. I think I'm dead. Fucking railgun. Oh my god, he fucked up the shot somehow. That gearing kept me fucking spotted for their entire fucking team's worth of DD. If you stop shooting, you should be di you should be dissing. Oh, you are you are now. Yeah, I'm officially out of the way. Shima mid. I'm shooting at him. Take a shot with the rear guns over the island at him. Nope. Didn't get the shot in time. Well, hopefully our DD that's right there can finish him. I mean, our Shima should have the fucking guns to shoot him. He's not shooting his guns. Uh, Dude, the entire fleet is over here. Mm -hmm. You just need to... Just I'm trying to disengage. I'm using the island as best I can. Like, I'm not trying to get well, we into a fight, Shima. but I can't turn and run. Because if I try to disengage, I'm spotted by planes the entire time. So, like, if I get away from this island, they're going to fuck me up. I need help. Yeah, you are, uh... The island is my only fucking hope at this point. No, they did not just let that fucking Kansas lob that. God, fuck me. I'm dead. <laughs> I can't believe they just let the Kansas lob that island. Like, for real. Could you... The, 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 all all their ships are over here. Literally every single one of their ships is over here. The fucking Kuchizov's firing AP at me. Like, what the fuck is wrong with my life? For God's sakes, man. Fame. Mordoff and Bay are not uh, bad inspirations, Eclipse. I would use Sims, though, for, for health. One second away from getting a shot. But yeah, there's nothing I can do. Literally nothing. No, I tried that, to hug no, the fucking no, island. These guys yeah. all lobbed the island and were able to hit me. So, like, they had planes up constantly. Was, they could see what I was doing. There's just nothing I could do. It was a waste of my fucking time. I almost time. just got dev struck. Like, our DDs should be having a because field day with all these fucking battleships grouped up the way they are. I'm trying to. Welcome to the Spartan Effect, folks. Every one of their fucking battleships came to fight me. Meanwhile, we got four battleships on Bravo, not shooting a damn thing. Requesting assistance. Ghost shells. Our team has taken the lead. I use Ale Hood for my, uh... I really just need to shoot here, but... He's gonna miss those corpse anyway. Got 
gotta love when you anticipate the shot so perfectly that you're already dodging before he pulls the trigger. <laughs> I get, I, I get, a, I get a little cheeky with that sometimes because some people actually wait. The cans are still tickled me a little bit. I can't wait to death Azuma strike my OP. first destroyer yeah, okay. with AP with the Monty. Cause I've I've done it with the Kansas. Did you see me? You see my video on that one? Uh -oh. I almost did. I know it's possible because, like I said, I've done it with the Kansas, so I know damn well it's possible to do with the Monty. You know what? We're actually. This guy's shells so far behind where you actually are. Let's hope he doesn't turn in that much. Like this game was this game was in a bad way the moment that that Yami got the first shot over the mountain and got a fucking citadel on me, and then as I tried to turn out to use the island, the fucking Grosser Kerfers that was directly over my bow somehow scores a citadel. Like it's just all the things went wrong. Yeah, you got fucked. There's no doubt about it. Kansas is gonna flood out. Should. They had the uh, Yami there. They had two, two Kansases and a Grosakar first, all shooting at me. All, all the fun. And then the uh, Kuchizov was there for moral support. <laughs> <laughs> just just in case they thought that uh, they were struggling. Hey, dog looks. Have a good night, brother. See you, man. Don't get me wrong, Chad. I love the uh, I love the Iowa. It'll always be my favorite battleship. But uh, but Kansas, I'm telling you, man, Kansas is nasty. There's just something to be said for that extra turret and the amount of uh, damage it can fucking inflict if it gets a broadside. I mean, you saw what it was capable of. You haven't seen that clip from today where uh, it was Monday's stream. 227,000 damage in a legendary match in a Kansas. You give that thing a broadside, you're getting blapped. Well, thanks for drawing them in, Spartan, so I could just lay waste to them. Well, you know, somebody's got to be bait. <laughs> it helps. It, it literally helps if uh, the team can take advantage. But like I said, our entire team of battleships went to Bravo, and they didn't have anything to fight. So everybody on the enemy team was shooting at me. And they were just, I can't, I can't survive it. Like, you got, uh, let's see, between the two Kansases, that's uh, that's 24 shells. You got the Yame, that's another 9 shells. You got the Grosikurfers, that's another 12 shells. Like, that's a whole lot of hatred coming your way. Every 30 seconds. Alright, so I'm assuming Peak is not coming back. Alright, what do we want? Kind of want to run that again since that was uh, not, not preferable. Okay. Let's try this, maybe. Hey, what's up, Wincy? Aaron, who do you replace, Sims, Bay, or Murdoff? Uh, definitely Mordoff for reload. Bay, Bay on a, because you're going to be gunning in the cob. I wouldn't. Bay is kind of useless for the cob in most cases.
I was the Kansas. I made sure to stay on my side. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody made sure to stay on that side. <laughs> GG, Colton. I think your entire team decided to stay on that side. Absolutely, Ado Potato. She is a sexy beast. Look at that. She does have a big ass, but she looks she looks real real good. Got the catapults back there, all the AAs. You got those forty <clears throat> millimeter bofers right there. Actually got to sit in a forty millimeter mount. It's pretty sick. Hey pilot, have a good night, brother. Taiho supremacy. All right, I'll be turning left and going to uh, behind the island initially. Yeah, Alaska's, me too. Alaska's, Amino, Iowa, Yami, Yami, Conk, Conk. I'll take Kansas over Mass. I don't want that island. I hope I don't get detected. It's human so bad in this thing. Yeah. Concealment on this thing, 15-3. Versus the I was fourteen eight, so it's not too bad. Mine's fifteen six. Yep, here it is. Can they fix? I wish they would fix the fucking spawns in this game. It's kind of annoying. I wish they wouldn't always put the thing that counters me best right across from me. Like the destroyer in this case, being perfectly placed to spot me for everybody to just wide open throttle me. Fuck. Controller fell apart. There we go. It happens every time, no matter what. No matter what game, no matter what ship, whatever perfectly counters me will spawn directly across from me. Every time. Bro, you got the best, one of the best heavy cruiser players in the game with you. Hey look, the Conqueror, Alaska. Go forward, go forward. That's what we were counting on. He didn't go... Hey look, there's he the fucking He didn't go as, as far forward as I wanted him to. He's in radar range. Taking a shot. Me too. It looks salty. Turn right like into that it. looks nasty. Good shot. Oh, the Minos here. Okay, I'm out of the range of the battleship, so I'm gonna start to turn in. I missed that gun. Are you kidding me? I'm taking a shot at the Mino into the smoke. Okay. I think I got the gearing. Enemy I got two overpins. Let's see what I get. He's moving forward. Move forward again. He's going behind the island. Hmm. Got Iowa getting ready to give us a good shot in the middle. Maybe not. Conks in range. Giving up that British booty that loves to be touched. God, that takes so long for those shells to get to my max range. Yeah, mine are. I was broadside, Spartan. Yeah. And he just got ruined. I was gonna say he's almost I, dead. I might have him. I might push with this Alaska here. I was dead. Good. That Alaska is about to be in range. A 
shot at the Alaska before he disappeared. Only one hit. I'll be honest, everybody sitting as far away up. from me as possible is kind of obnoxious. Yep, we got a good flank here. I'm going to push it, though. I don't like this mino. That Conqueror is actually playing it correctly. So. Take a shot at this Conqueror. Let's see if he likes how he plays it now. Oh, those look tight. He fucking oh, started far reversing. Forward. Like, really? He does that. Like, who sits there basically begging for it and then reverses in front of everybody? Like, if anybody that has a decent angle on him, they could ruin his ass right now. I've got his broadside, so I pretty much am forced to shoot at I one thing. Okay. I stuck those past the island somehow. And he's turning away from me. He's literally playing only me. Like, anybody else can shoot him. But every time I shoot, he just fucking dodges. Borat, what are we was actually selling the Iowa? Watch your flanks. Thank you, Borat. That guy is about to go forward. Is that is that Peak's new uh, alt account? I might have the Alaska in the middle of the map there. Oh, okay. I shot at him too. Wow, they all hit the fucking island. They all landed short. How is that possible? Uh, like, uh oh, this could hurt. This game really needs to fix this bullshit with the auto-aim. Like, I, I aimed that shot personally to make sure that it went over the island and fucking landed. And every one of them fell mm -hmm. short into the island for no reason. I don't know what this Alaska's doing, yeah. but... Uh, sitting there like that is basically guaranteeing that I can sit at him. Touch the fuck out of him. I didn't know he was, uh... Our victory is in sight. He started reversing as soon as I fired. He tried doing what the fucking Conqueror does. Alright, Conqueror. Your turn, buddy. Dude, if I shoot at another person that just disappears right in front of me, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Hey, Bulldozer, what's up, dude? It's been a minute. The ship is on fire. Use a heal. This is a boring fucking match with everybody playing so fucking passively. I just want a match where everybody's dumb enough to give me a broadside for the entire game like we had in the first game. Dude. As soon as I shot them. Good game, everyone. It's so hard to tell what I should Good shoot show. in the smoke when... Uh, when I'm at this angle from him. Also, yeah. I thought we were going to get this capture, but... Somebody got reset, so fuck me, so now I'm out of the cap. LOL. We win before it. Oh my god. Alright. God, this is fucking boring. I'm good, Bill. How you doing, man? I'm good. Yeah, GG's. It's alright, we'll get a game. We'll get another game for you. I just want a decent game to have some fun, man. The fucking the match with all of the everybody shooting me just got me obliterated and then fucking this bullshit where everybody just hides and runs away for the entire match. Like, come on. Jacob, it's not that he's outplaying me. He just got lucky that my shells weren't fucking pinning him. Like, he literally was just begging for it for half the match. But he was also just out. Like, every time I would fire, he would dodge me. He didn't care that the rest of my team existed. So he was only watching me. So they should have been able to do quite a bit of damage to him, the other battleships that were there. 
because he wasn't dodging them. He was sitting still until I fired, and then he would start moving forward or reverse. Uh, I'm not complaining that he's he's playing it well. I'm just saying, like, it's he got lucky a couple of times where he should have gotten blapped and didn't, like, when I started shooting at his ass. Like, British battleships are synonymous with getting obliterated when you shoot at their ass. If you've ever played... Very angry. Oh, he's back. Young boy. Deke is very angry. Dude, I, I figured you'd probably put a Deke, hole in your wall. Deke fucking ripped apart that fucking pot. So you call at and now there's a fucking General robot. Quarters. You talk to him. I had to go through the diagnostic steps of a fucking robot. Dude, at and sucks, plug man. Plug your router and call right back. Let us know if the problems are fixed. Fuck you. Dude. You called right back. <laughs> <laughs> I literally would I would call up fucking AT&T for like actual shit that I already know is fucked up like I'd be like hey guys I have a phone line that was cut okay my phone line is destroyed I need a fucking service technician we need you to go through some simple diagnostics I'm like dude I have a fucking degree in, in system networking administration I know what the fuck I'm doing if you ask me to run one more diagnostic bullshit when I'm literally telling you the shit is, I see the fucking cable is busted. All right, send a fucking technician. Stop being a fucking idiot. Well, the paper well, says that I'm supposed short, to ask this question. I finally got to a chick, and I told her what was going on. I told her that there is something going on at AT&T hardware wise that I'm getting disconnected at 9:05 p.m. four times in the last six days, and I told her that. You gotta figure it out. Well, she and there's one. Put me on hold. She contacted AT&T's agency here in Tulsa. Talked with them about any kind of service updates to the line. Got back with the Called the technician. Lost technician. Find out if they had been doing work in my area or anywhere that would affect the service. Enemy battleship haven't been doing anything. Nope, no technical problem from here to there. No service updates, bullshit, hardware updates, nothing Dude, like it's that. happening at the same time every night. I know, that's what I told her. And then she said, well, maybe it's uh, a strain on the system. But I said, listen, I've got 100 megs up. There's a strain on the system. I'm not getting booted off. Maybe it gets pulled down a little bit, but I'm not getting booted off of that much. And... Okay, let me look. Router. Find out. Found out that my router is actually out of date. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. A brand new router. Try that. Okay. Spotter airborne. I'll have that in one to two business days, probably two. You know why they say one? One to two, I'll have that, and I'll try that. And if that doesn't work, if I get booted off one other time, I'm gonna have a Mission come out. Go from my fucking box, down the line, out the house, across the yard, to the telephone pole, all the, pole, all the way down to the big box, from that big box, all the way back to your fucking head. Something going on somewhere. Something is happening. I just blap that flitch. It's not getting booted off for bandwidth. I don't have 10 megabytes. Yo, casual coming in with a five dollar dono. Fi uh, hey Spartan, have a good stream. Stuck in the hospital like, with COVID. Really weird Sorry to hear that, my dude. Off, Hopefully you get feeling better. But yet I'm still able. Been there, done that, man. It ain't fun. I can't receive. So she thinks she might be the the, the what? Router. Uh -oh. new router. Hello, Kerfurst. Did you enjoy that twenty-three thousand damage? Give me 15 seconds, I'll do it again. See, Mono is still sailing broadside. Yeah, I, I touched the one, and the other one turned out just as I got a shot, but... I don't want more than that. Goodbye, Kerfurst. Thanks for playing. Enemy battleship destroyed. Buster Jones went down. Up your hydro. He's out there, Spartan. PD's on the right. Copy. He just left the cap. Aaron, did you meet yourself? Oh, yeah, for a little bit. 
Peek was telling a story. I don't know if he included his audio. Apparently, Casual's in the hospital with COVID, so uh, I'm to wish him well. That sucks, dude. I literally have been there. Oh, shit. Well, you're dead, Yami, but I'm gonna get blapped right back. Uh, how does he live? How is that not a fucking death strike? And he just took half my health. That is horse shit. How did I not death strike that man? That's fucked. And now he's gonna bow in. He's gonna be able to fuck me up. Hopefully somebody in the base has a good shot at him. I was contemplating turning now, but... I'm gonna start the backup process as this guy charges me, because he's probably gonna try to ram me. You guys staying on or what? I'm. I just took a sleeping pill. I thought you were gonna get back sooner. No, I was on the phone for 30 minutes. Yeah, dude. I knew you were gonna be pissed. Fucking kill him, game. Oh no, we're 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 fucking getting the box. This is not happening. Fucking fiber with 600, a 13 millisecond speed, 100 x up and down, up and down. I don't care if I have to get the technician out here. All the enemy battleship destroyed. Fuck, dude. I went out here to try and get your broadside. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. It's alright. We needed to cross sooner, but that's okay. Yeah, I didn't have much of a choice. I got caught by the fucking Yami out here, and he came bowing. Like, the first shot from that guy took half my health. I knew we were going to trade, but he was literally broadside. He must have started turning in just as I got the shot off and got angled a little bit. What should have been a dev strike just did nothing. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Oh, rip the fucking Mino. That's the life of the Mino right there. This is literally the life of a Mino. It's like you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Okay, Kerfurst is about to be in range. Glad they're gonna send me a new router. Hopefully that fixes my problem. They all went long. How? Okay, now he's turning in towards me. Of course he is. Our, our, our destroyer decides to put up a smoke screen right in front of him, so he thinks torpedoes are on the way, even though it's a fucking freeze wind. So he's turning in to bow into the fucking torpedoes. I want to hear how my fucking... I want to hear how Papa Nicholas is going to edit the podcast. I know he's going to edit it. Eh, there's not a whole lot of editing that he does. Just kind You're of, not he, wrong, he, so, so listen. He, he cuts up a couple little little things, but for the most part, he just there isn't a whole lot of editing. I'm still waiting for part two of my freaking podcast to come out. Might hit a gun, but oof! I might finish or it. land short. Okay. Enemy battleship sunk. He got blapped, and I, I was like, hey, this he's game. probably gonna die." You guys staying on or what? Maybe a few more. I have work tomorrow morning, so. But you start. Yeah, I'll be on for a few. I don't know how long I'm going to be on. I've been streaming for two hours and ten minutes now. I wasn't planning on streaming ships tonight, but uh, unless you guys want to do to do arena, but uh, I ended up getting the Montana and I was like, oh shit, I want to play that shit.
can. I can play a game or two of that if you want to. I will get there right before my show starts. Our team has taken the lead. I'll have to stop the stream and restart it as Among Us. God fucking. Oh, he didn't turn. If that's what we're gonna do, then I will. Um... Gareth Hustle and Buck are joining you in five minutes. Battle ends in five minutes. Oh, yeah, turn right into that. No. 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 Bye, Alaska. That was really underwhelming. I was hoping that I'd get something out of that. I shot oh my a god. Structure. I blacked a gun. Six seconds he does. I'm gone and I gotta stay. Oh. Goodbye, Alaska. GG. Really suck. Went off after I changed my DNF. Probably he's back. Deke's back, but I think we're gonna go play uh, Among, Among us, us now. If you uh, wanna play Prophet, hop in. Yeah, can you set that up, Pete? Because I only got like 10, 20 minutes. 30 um, minutes. He just said they wanna finish the game. We got top 1%, I'm gonna finish the season as well. Fast ones. Lead insignias. Yeah, Ramses, it's it's good for, for stuff. You think I'm still quiet for you? Like I shouldn't be. Usually I'm a li I'm little loud. For among us. Really? Let me double check. No, my my uh, microphone's right on the edge of when I'm regularly talking, going Your into level yellow. So you have to get your dude. I can't turn I don't know myself what that is. up anymore than like, that. I still don't even know how to do my tasks. I almost got voted off because they're like, Aaron, what were you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I was walking around looking for arrows. I have no idea, like, how to play it on Xbox. Like, I've played it on PC. I just don't know how to do the tasks and stuff yet, so it'll be fun. Also, Peek, for God's sakes, do your task while you're a ghost. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? The tasks you can win the game without like like that's how you, how the survivors are meant to win oh, the game. Oh really? Yeah. So if you so complete your tasks, get all their tasks done, the game's over. Yeah, you know that little bar that's at the top of the screen. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, that bar at the top of the screen is tasks. So the more tasks that you do, including people who are already dead, like that, you fill up that bar, the survivors win, or the crew wins. Oh, I, I want to dread that. Among Us, really? Been long since I've seen anybody stream that. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, it will. Ooh, All right, Spartan, want you want to get one more real quick? Or do you want to go to that? Uh, do we want one more? Well, let's do it. What's your, e what's your ETA on that peak? I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> You're ready right now. Well, in that case... All right, uh, let me do an outro for these guys, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, same. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to switch over to Among Us. I will stop the stream and restart it in just a few minutes. So give me time. Uh, if you guys are interested in watching that, I appreciate everybody dropping by for our first stream on Montana. Started out with a banger. Probably should have just stopped right away, but uh, still had some fun. A uh, couple of really, really bad games where we got ourselves into trouble early, but uh, is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys shortly if you're going to stick around for some Among Us. Otherwise, have a good night, and uh, see you tomorrow.